a pleasant good morning, fans and fans of Sports Night News. I'm Jeff Borg, and this is going to be the latest edition of the Ghostly Take as we preview after a good weekend, a early morning game for our Lehigh Valley fans. As at 10.30 this morning, in about 40 minutes, our Lehigh Valley Phantoms are going to take on the Bridgeport Islanders uh, down there in Bridgeport. Over the weekend, they had a tough struggle, bugaboo game that Nathan Walker on the beginning of the weekend on Friday scored a hat trick with Springfield. But then answered back in Pat Nagel's claps up to Nagel for getting his first AHL shutout in the game prior to him going to the Olympic team and uh, reporting to LA to then go to China and play for the U.S. Olympic team. It would be great to see him, Drew Camaso, and I'm trying to remember who the third goaltender is. It would be great to see their goaltender budget do their thing in the Olympics and represent America and be able to try to bring back at least a uh, silver medal, if not better. Um, but... They were able to capture that game, led by a great game by Nagel. And also in the Saturday game, they had Hayden Hodgson continue his stellar play. Wyatt Wiley continue his stellar play, having a goal. And then Alex Kiley was able to have a great goal cutting to the net uh, for his first with the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Um, after playing absolutely fantastic, it's coming in from Danny Breer's main Mariners and fitting in like a glove. Cal O'Reilly was a man on a mission on Sunday against the rival Hershey, having two goals. And then Linus Sandin was able to have the clutch time goal, who obviously had a good NHL debut and has been fantastic um, ever since the Phantoms has gone on their positive run to get back in the standings and get back in the playoffs. Was able to have the game-winning goal assisted by Jackson Cates and Garrett Wilson, two guys that have been a big part of of the success recovery for the Phantoms, especially Garrett Wilson and Cates has been a good player while down there, and also has been a good pitch-in player when needed up at the big club uh, with the Philadelphia Flyers. The Phantoms obviously look to keep their winning ways and better play going today with the um, increased successful play of Linus Sandin, the Matthew Stroms of the world, bringing back in the Millmans of the world, Wyatt Wiley coming back into the defense. It's no coincidence that when a guy that's such a good poised solid defensive defender that plays solid on both ends, comes back in and kind of calms everything down. Everything starts writing the ship better. He was a huge missing cog, and him coming back in, it's no coincidence that that was around the time everything started kind of turning uh, the tide, and then you got increased great play by Matt Strom laying out there to block shots. He's really stepped up, too, these last couple of games since I've seen Ratty Ratcliffe um, for the All-Star game play a couple of games with the Flyers, of course. Strom's even taking a bigger role at shot blocking, hitting, and doing all that stuff that you would mix in um, seeing Ratcliffe do. It seems like he's even stepped up more. So it's nice to see this Phantoms team who were beat down because of the Flyers' injuries with a bunch of guys up and because of their own injuries and because of their own COVID protocols early, be able to respond and answer back, similar to how the Islanders are doing in the NHL, the Phantoms are doing in the AHL, uh, and are back in a playoff spot, and are starting to creep up <clears throat> uh, points-wise um, when they have two games above them, but are creeping up to the Providence Bruins and are starting to creep up as well to the Charlotte Checkers. We have 36 points to the Charlotte Checkers, 44, and the Bruins, 40. Um, when it comes to point percentage, we have a 500 to a 579 and a 588. So the Phantoms have a little bit more winning to go to move up there. But if they keep moving in the right direction, there's no reason to say this team can't finish above 6th and at least 5th with the Checkers or even 4th with the Bruins. Because I would say um, it's going to be hard with the way that even though uh, they've had inconsistencies more so lately, the Springfield Thunderbirds and the Hershey Bears. I don't think you're going to catch the top three. I feel like the top three team, to me, are probably going to stay as Hartford, Springfield, and Hershey, and it might flip if, if Charlotte or Providence gets hot, and then maybe the Phantoms could overtake Hershey if they get cold. But I think those will be the top three teams. Then you got Providence, Charlotte, and Lehigh uh, kind of all competing for the last spot there. Um and then you also have, of course, the Wilkes-Barre, Scranton Penguins that are still in it. And then Bridgeport is kind of a little bit ways out of it in last place. So the Phantoms have to keep supplanting themselves and keep making them more. Bridgeport's the last place team in the division, but they have played the Phantoms good this year. I was at the game in Lehigh that they beat them. Arston Zarnick has been a man on the mission against the Phantoms this year. They have to play them tightly. They have to jam the neutral zone. They have to limit this team's scoring chances because the Bridgeport Islanders uh, like I just got done saying, they don't have the sweetest team, but they have Cole Brudreau, they have Chris Curry, they got Michael Del Colle, they got good uh, vet veterans there, uh, Richard Panic, obviously Simon Holmstrom, 
who's a very solid AHL player, has 18 points. So they have very good players that can get it done if you put them in, obviously, the octane, high-octane chances. The Phantoms got to limit the, them in the neutral zone, jam them, not let them get through. It was too easy, even though it wasn't a high-scoring game in that game Gillies played. They still let them get in the zone at times too easy while I was there in Lehigh. That was months ago in November. Now the team is a completely different team since then, and I expect that to show on the ice today against the Bridgeport Islanders. This has been a preview for our Lehigh Valley Phantoms against the Bridgeport Islanders, as hopefully our fans are able to continue their nice success and beat the last place team in the division, the Bridgeport Islanders, and continue to keep catching the problem is Bruins and the Charlotte Checkers. Peace out, everybody. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Please can subscribe above on the Easy to Use widget or down below on the Easy to Use subscribe button. Help us get to 200 by the end of February. Enjoy the hockey, everybody, and let's go, Phantom.